Here we go. We're going to pass the, put the fly onto our, onto our tippet and just let it go. I'm going to take the, the, the very end of the tippet between the thumb and forefinger of my dominant hand. I'm going to make a loop away from me with the tag end on the bottom and then hold that with my thumb. I'm going to bring the standing end up through the loop like that. And that's, that is my knot right there. You see, I've only used that much tag end. Now I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring the fly up and pass it through the loop that I made. And that's it. And the fly approaches the loop from the line side, correct? Yeah, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. Okay. And, and no matter how big you make that loop, that, that tag end is going to stay the same as it started out to be. And, and what do you call this knot? Well, the guy that taught it to me called it a turl knot. Now, I've seen turl knots in other illustrations, and this is not quite what that is. All it is is a slip knot. So we call it Jack's knot. Let's, let's, let's call it Jack's knot. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>